Hey, it's Sandy, and in today's nail art tutorial, Miri and I will be showing you how to create 10 different nail art designs that are perfect for spring. All of these nail art designs are super easy to create, and they've been inspired by the colors, flowers, and symbols of springtime. You can choose to do all 10 designs, mix and match a couple, or you could try out one as an accent nail. If you love our ultimate guides, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let us know down in the comments which one of these designs is your favorite. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button for a new cute polish video every Monday. Now let's begin! The first design is this really easy and pretty floral pattern. To begin, start off with a pastel yellow base. For this nail design, the only tool you'll need is a toothpick. Choose three of your favorite flower colors, and then dip your toothpick into a blob of one of the colors. Then add five little dots around in a circle to create the flower petals. Make sure to keep them small and close together, but still try to leave a little bit of an empty space right in the center of the flowers. Then you can go ahead and add in your other two colors. Make sure to do a bunch of the tiny flowers in each color and spread them out over the entire nail. It will also look great if you create half flowers on the sides of your nail too. Then you can use a small nail art brush dipped into nail polish remover to clean up any polish that may have gotten on your skin. And that's it! A super cute and easy floral pattern. Up next is a feather design that's perfect for spring music festivals. To begin, paint your nail using a pastel purple polish. Then dip a tiny nail art brush into purple polish and swoop the brush across your nail to create the middle of the feather. Use white to create tiny strokes coming out of the curved line on each side to complete the feather. Make sure to draw shorter lines as you get closer to the top to create that perfect feather shape. And if you'd like to fill in more of the empty nail space, you can go in with your brush to create some tiny dots. If you'd like a little sparkle, you can go ahead and use your favorite glitter polish to accent the middle of the feather like so. And that's it! Your feather design is complete. The third design is one of my favorites. It's a vertical strip of floral. To begin this design, start off with a pastel orange polish. Next, use a coral polish and a tiny nail art brush to create five dots around in a circle like we did in the first design. Alternate between having one and two flowers on each line as you come down the middle of the nail. Next, you're going to need a shimmery gold polish. Use this to add to the center of each flower. You can do this using either a toothpick or continue on using your tiny nail art brush. After you finish that, the last step is to add in the leaves. Use a green polish to create a few tiny leaves coming out of each side of the flowers. And now you're all done! Super pretty, I love this one. Up next is a pretty ombre flower design. To begin, paint your nail with an opaque white nail polish. Then you're going to need a stamping plate with a floral design on it. Choose two different polishes from your collection that would look great as a gradient, and then paint one color on one half of the design and the other color on the other half. Use your scraping card to mix the two colors together in the very middle to get a beautiful transition. Then pick up the design on your stamper and press it onto your nail. Go ahead and clean up any of the extra polish that got on your skin with a brush and acetone. And now your design is complete! Stamping is a quick and easy way to get a perfect design. The last design on the first hand is this easy cartoon cloud print. For this design, you will need to paint your nail using a sky blue polish. Once that's dry, take out a small dotting tool and dip it into white nail polish. Go ahead and create some cloud shapes by pressing the dotting tool onto your nail. This design is really easy and quick to do. I love how fun and cartoony the end result is. It looks especially good if you add in a few half clouds to the sides of your nail. And don't worry about getting any polish on your skin because you can just easily clean it off afterwards. And there you go. Let's move on to the next hand. The next design is a gorgeous daisy print. To begin, we're using one of my all-time favorite polishes, Essie's Mint Candy Apple. To create the daisy flowers, dip a small nail art brush into white polish, and then add thin little strokes around in a circle. You can add around 5 to 8 of these over your nail, depending on how much space you have to work with. 
Remember to add in some half flowers too for the best looking end result. Once that's dry, go ahead and add in some pastel yellow polish to the centers of the daisies. Use a dotting tool to get a perfect circle. Again, you can always clean up any polish that you get on your skin, so don't let that scare you away from adding the flower centers onto the half flowers near the edges of your nail. And that's it, all done. The seventh style is a pink lemonade stripe design. Begin with a pastel pink nail polish as your base. Next, you're going to need striping tape to easily create perfect stripes. All of the products used here today will be linked down below in the description box. Add pieces of striping tape horizontally across your nail and make sure to leave the same amount of space between them all. Next, you're going to need a pastel yellow and pink polish. Use a brush to add these colors in between the striping tape. Once you've filled in the first two spaces, you're going to want to quickly remove the tape before the polish dries. This will ensure that the stripes are nice and clean. Go ahead and add in the next color and then quickly remove the next piece of tape. Continue this process until there are no pieces of striping tape left on your nail. If you need to clean up, go ahead and do so with a brush and you'll be left with this cute and perfect stripe design. On to number eight, an ombre polka dot design. To begin, we're going to be using a pastel purple and blue polish to create the ombre. Sponging on polish can be messy business, so we're going to protect the skin around our nail first by using liquid latex for an easier cleanup. Let that dry and then paint a thick stripe of purple and blue nail polish over a makeup sponge. Dab this on over your nail and then you can remove the latex. I love how clean this came out. <laughs> Then add in some white polka dots over the nail using a dotting tool. Alternate the placement of the dots in each row for a perfect looking pattern. And that's it! A super easy and fun nail art design. If you need to clean up, go ahead and do that with a small brush. The ninth design is inspired by Japanese cherry blossom trees. To begin this design, you'll need a light blue polish for your base. For this design, you're going to also need a light pink, fuchsia, brown, and light green nail polish. Dip a small nail art brush into the brown polish to create the branches. You can add two main branches coming out from each side of the nail, and then add in even smaller branches coming off of them. To easily create the cherry blossom flowers, you can add a dot and pull it vertically, and then add another dot and pull it horizontally. So essentially, you're making little X's. Add in a bunch of these cherry blossom flowers all over the tree branches. Next, you're going to use the fuchsia polish to add in the centers of the flowers. Again, you can do this with a toothpick or a tiny nail art brush or a dotting tool. And finally, use the green polish to add in little tiny dots for the leaves all around the flowers. This is another one of my favorites from this guide. I absolutely love it. So let's move on to the final design. We're going to be trying out stamping a little differently this time. Begin with a light green nail polish for your base color. Then you're going to find a stamp that has a lot of leaves over it. Add green polish, scrape, pick up the design, and then stamp it over your nail. We like to use clear stampers for this because it really helps you know where you're stamping. Clean up any excess polish, and then instead of leaving the design like this, you can be extra and add in some little tiny red dots for flowers that are about to bloom. And that's it, a super easy and cute design. The final step is to finish off all of your nail art designs using, you got it, a fast drying top coat. This will seal them all in and it will add a beautiful shine. Which of these 10 designs was your favorite? We'd love to know, so let us know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this spring nail art guide. To watch more awesome videos here on Cute Polish, you can click here or here. And to subscribe, click this link. Definitely make sure to go check out Miri's personal channel because she's the one who painted these designs here today. Her channel link will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, take care, 
and we'll see you next time.